you know, all started back in uh, you know, 2016 or so. Hi, Ryan Roach, founder of Punch for Parkinson's. I grew up in Dedham, Massachusetts. My uncle, Freddie Roach, most people know who he is. He has, you know, Parkinson's and uh, he's trained many world champions and seeing that and I was out there in his gym <clears throat> inspired me uh, just watching him work with fighters every day. You know, he's telling me a little story about how he gave uh, Jesse Jackson, the Reverend, a workout. Uh, like, you know, kind of helped him with his day-to-day -day living and he felt like it uh, made, a, made a difference in his life. So <clears throat> at that point, I asked him, you know, if I could do something with it. Thought, hey, maybe, maybe train people like fighters, people with Parkinson's, train them like fighters and treat them like fighters. And, you know, here we are three years later, 100 warriors later. We've helped out over 400 people now. Every warrior inspires me in a different way. Um, one that touches me the most all the time is uh, back when we first, we started. I'm sure how this was all gonna work out. We raised some money and then it was uh, on to finding people with Parkinson's, battling disease. And I found Kathy Wesolowski through a family friend. She started here with Frank. You know, I, I met Frank through the boxing community um, in Dedham. And it was, it was a hit right away. One thing that really sticks out to me is, you know, she texted me one day and said she can uh, do her eye makeup for three days after working out, doing a boxing workout. So that, to me, it's the little things that touch me the most because now you got someone that can do the little things in life to make, you know, make their life a little better. You know, our main goal is to leave no warrior behind. We wanna, we wanna be able to fund every single warrior. We wanna be able to give every warrior the same chance, you know, nationwide to fight this disease through boxing and through non-contact boxing. That's the most important thing. And we treat them like fighters. We train them like fighters. They fight every day of their life. They don't get a day off, so that's what we do. We train them like a fighter. We put them through the same boxing workouts that fighters go through, and we think that makes a difference. I got started in boxing at a young age. Uh, growing up a roach, you got boxing gloves you know, around five years old. So my grandfather gave me a set of boxing gloves. I think I was three. My father, kinda, he threw them away because my uncle already had Parkinson's by the time I was that age. So uh, I wasn't able to carry on the legacy of uh, the roach name, boxing. But uh, you know, I, I got into boxing later in life. Uh, I was able to train and stuff like that, but I was never able to you know, compete. Punch for Pox in the next three to five years, I would like to uh, see it grow nationwide and have gyms across the country uh, for these warriors. So these warriors don't have to pay for you know, any physical training through one of our programs. You know, most of these people are at a retirement age, so it's, it's a big burden on them. Um, and boxing is a very expensive sport. So giving them that, that lift of not wearing how to pay every single month for boxing. You know, it's, it's a big lift off their shoulders financially and it helps them out. It reduces their symptoms by up to 30 to 40%. In most cases, it really, really helps these warriors out. We really see a big difference. If that 30, 40% could be another 10 to 20 years in someone's life that they get to see their kids grow up, their grandkids grow up. So every nine minutes, someone's diagnosed with Parkinson's. I mean, Parkinson's is a very, you know, dehabilitating disease. Um, it might not kill you right away, but the effects of Parkinson's uh, will, will, will kill you in the end. And, you know, that's what we're hoping to prolong some of these warriors' lives, you know, and help them uh, emotionally, physically, and mentally battle Parkinson's. Punch for Parkinson's helps these warriors uh, tremendously with mental health. It's the camaraderie. Um, they, they're getting out of the house, they're staying active. Active is key. You know, even in the fight game, I tell my fighters, you know, stay active because that's, that's the biggest key. And I think them just getting out of the house and continuing to live their day-to-day -day life and working out and, you know, just removes all the, the stress the, and everything. It keeps them, uh, you know, healthy mind. Uh, but, you know, one, one thing I try to instill in my, uh, my kids is I bring them around punch for pockets as much as possible to show them, you know, give back, it's important. Um, you know, I was a pretty bad kid growing up. <laughs> so, uh, 
you know, I try to instill in them to, uh, to make sure that they uh, give back to the community. It's very important. Um, you know, and, and to me, I grew up, you know, single, single mom. My dad was a boxer. Uh, he moved away when he was 18 to, uh, you know, seek out his, uh, his boxing career. And, you know, my mother you know, raised me, my aunts. So I was raised by all women, so I think that's where the soft side comes out a little bit.